Hello and welcome back to Artisanal Designs. It's been a while, but I have a video for you. Hope you enjoy it. I've already mixed my resin. Uh, you have to look at your manufacturer's instructions for mixing resin. Mine's is one to one. I'm using marine, uh, pro marine resin uh, for this particular project. You see, I've already placed my cracked glass on my uh, mold where I want it. So I'm just going to voice over because I thought it would be a little bit faster if I wasn't explaining. So my instructions for my resin are to mix for three to five minutes. Since I have quite a bit of resin in my cup, I'm going to try to mix for five minutes but you won't see the full five minutes. You see that it's gotten quite clear now and it's thinning out so that's when you know your resin is almost ready to work with. Now the design that I made actually came from my leftovers. Um, that was my inspiration. Whenever I create any resin designs, I use smaller molds and pour the leftovers in it. Um, and that's what I did. And I kind of liked the color combination. So I just decided to create um, the design that you saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, and I think it came out really good. So. I wanted to show you guys how I did that, and you're going to see uh, shortly. Also, I did some want some other pieces with seashells, which I'll show you in another video. But this one has broken glass, glitter, um, a little bit of alcohol ink. I'm trying to use less. Sometimes less is more, um, and it came out really, really nice. So I think right now I'm looking for the glitter that I wanted to use. Since you see my table is relatively clean, I cleaned up my art room. And that's when you can't find anything. So I should be back in a minute. Ah, I hear I am spraying alcohol on something. Probably another piece. Now that bowl I placed over to the side is because I am going to do another uh, flower casting. So I always do my castings in layers. So I'm going to put some clear uh, resin in that bowl and a little bit just to stop the layer. And then I will build up with the flowers and whatever embellishments I'm going to add to that. So you see, I'm almost ready. I always make sure I stir thoroughly because if you don't um, get a good uh, blending of your resin and hardener, you'll end up with some sticky resin. And I've done that before, so that's why I'm like religious about making sure my resin is very well uh, mixed. So now I'm just pouring some resin into um, a couple of cups so I can put my colors together. So you can see this is just clear resin. I'm doing my separation. And this is what you'll need to do. If you plan on making something with multiple colors, you need to pour it out right from the beginning. And then this is my glitter that I'm using. Um, uh, I'll tell you the name of the company that I got it from at the end of the video. She's another resinista. So putting a little bit of the resin, excuse me, of the glitter in the resin. And I'm also adding some sparkle glitter. Trying to make sure you can see that name. Just stop the video so you can see it. And I can't get it open because of my 
glow. So you hear me like wrestling with the glitter. So in separate cup, I'm going to put that second glitter in. But I also want to add some color to it because I don't want to have glitter on top of glitter. So you'll see. I'm mixing up the fresh glitter, which is an ultra fine glitter. So it almost uh, dissolves in the resin. Not quite. It's sparkly, but, it, you know. You can see it looks kind of like a butter caramel color. Sometimes in between I'm changing my gloves because I've learned that if I get resin on my gloves and I don't change it, it ends up being a problem later while I'm working. So you'll see me stop or hear me stop and change my gloves from time to time. So now I'm stirring up the second gold glitter, but um, I don't want it just to be just plain gold. So at some point I will put some alcohol ink in there. And the alcohol ink that I put in there is turquoise. Again, just feel free to stop the video and see if you can see that. If you want to know the name and brand, just leave me a comment in the comment section and I will give you all the supplies. So notice I start off with one drop in there and stir it because I don't, again, I don't want it to take over my um, piece. And, um, and I have a little, uh, I'm going to call it like a little small pyramid that I made um, with leftover resin that I'm using for reference. So I kind of want this piece to match that. I just like the way the colors came together. And they were just leftover colors from other projects. So I wanted this a little bit bluer. And I'm stirring that in. It. Right now it doesn't look so good. But once they mix together, it does look better. So I got my torch. I'm getting the bubbles out of the um, dish that I just poured the clear resin into. And then I'm just going to go right along the outer rim of my molds with the gold, which is <clears throat> the first gold. So you'll see me do that. And I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to spread down to my um, fire glass before I'm ready. Actually, because I want it to have some clear space between the colors and the fire glass. And I did achieve that, so. And that's the heart um, that you can barely see me uh, working on. But I'm filling in the upper part of the heart with the gold also. Then I'm going to take the glitter. Like slowly pour it along the edge of the gold. I don't mind if it overlaps into the gold. I just don't want it to run down into my fire glass again before I'm ready. And then I'm going to move over to my heart. And I'm doing the same thing. I have fire glass at the tip of the heart. And I'm going around the edge of the gold with the gold and blue um, tinted resin. I 
Right now, I'm going to pour some more clear into the gold and change this color up a little bit. So I'm adding the first gold that we used. I'm going to stir that up so I can have my little three bands of color there. I'm going to use the sparkle gold with that. Just because I want some distinction in the layers. I'm not putting a whole lot, just enough to get some glitter. And you see I almost put the glitter in the bowl that I have the clear resin in. Glad I didn't do that on film. So I'm just going to add a little bit more because I want it to sparkle. I want that last um, layer to have a little bit of bling to it. But now I'm noticing that the um, second layer is starting to move towards my fire glass. And that's not what I want. So I need to fix that. So I get the clear and pour it close to the fire glass and by doing that it flows towards the outer edge and pushes that uh, the glitter back away from the fire glass and I go around and I do that to each section of my design and push back you see, push that second layer back. But I don't flood it because I know I want to put my third row in there. And if I put too much, it just it won't have the effect that I want it to have. It'll flow down to the fire glass too if it's too flooded. So the clear resin you can see has pushed back the other glitter and I will add my third ring, third and final ring of glitter. No, I think I add one more layer. You can see that gold you can distinguish it from all three layers. And now repeating with the heart. The same thing you just saw me do with my geode mode. Uh, and the reason why I'm not talking, I think you can see my respirator. It's very important to wear a respirator when you're going to be working with resin for extended periods of time. I used to be thinking, oh, my room is big. I opened the window and then I started getting like uh, this thing in my throat. And it was almost like not a cold, but something kind of like in my throat where I was coughing. I'm not going to say I had trouble breathing, but it definitely had an effect on when I was talking. It, it's just like my throat was dried out. I don't know how to say it, closed up or something. So I got my respirator and I've been faithful to wear it. Also my gloves. All resins are not the same. I'm just going to say that. The reaction that you get from different resins is different. I when I was thinking that I would not follow the rules and not be safe, 
I like uh, different reactions from different resins. Some resins, I would just get a headache for days, like a couple of days after I used it. And then other resins, like I actually got pains in my stomach, my legs, like my legs cramped up. And then different, I, and I use a lot of different resins. I use them all, Ala Mode, Pro Marine, Art and Glow, um, Casting something, I don't know. I, I use them all. Culture, um, counter culture. I just, you know, we just start trying the different resins and for the uh, effects that it has on our project. Okay, so I'm getting ready to add some blue glitter to the clear now because, of course, I need to accent my um, fire glass. So I want to make sure, I don't want to put too much, but I want to make sure I have enough to kind of um, offset my gold. And I'm using Sapphire Blue um, by Pinata. I love Sapphire Blue. Just to, again, make sure I highlight my fire glass. So getting back to uh, resin. So yeah, the you really do have side effects. And some of the resin comes off your hands and your skin easier and other resin i'm telling you will layer on your skin and every time you work with it and something some more gets on your skin it creates a layer i thought i was getting it off and my skin was just getting dry and then one day i just was like i don't feel good so i took a soak in the tub as hot as i could and as i was bathing suddenly i saw these the resin like peeling off my hands and I couldn't even see it. I just like I said felt like my skin was very dry and hard but in fact and when I tried to wash off the resin I sprayed my hands with alcohol then I put um, any kind of oil, coconut oil, whatever oil I have in my bathroom on and then um, hand soap and sanitizer and I'm washing and washing and washing and thinking it's coming off and it was not so please um, enjoy your resin art as I do. I'm passionate about it. I love my resin, but be safe with it because um, you can't. It's um, it was used originally for industrial use. So now you see me pulling that blue into my gold. So yeah, be definitely. It was for industrial use, like bolts and countertops. And then someone discovered we can use it in art. And it's such a fun and beautiful, um, how can I say, product that it just changed how we make art, what we do with art. And especially like when you do the alcohol inks with the resin and just let them dance around, that's kind of like a meditation. But again, once you start breathing this on a regular basis, it's not good for you, no matter how much you open your windows, that those chemicals will be airborne, just like a virus or a cold, they're airborne and you're breathing them in and they can affect your lungs or have other adverse effects. Um, like I said, one of mine was cramps in my legs, um, headaches, and so um, I'm not saying don't use them, I'm just saying use them safely, just like with everything else. You have to be, um, you know, you have to read the manufacturer's instructions and then use your own precautions to keep yourself healthy and make beautiful art, you know. So anyway, so now I am adding the blue highlights to the heart. And you can see the effect that it made on the geodes. I really am loving it, but again, with resin, it kind of has a mind of its own, so we don't know if it's going to stay the way we place it sometimes. And then I'm doing the same thing that I did with the gel, push, pulling that blue back up into the heart, because um, I kind of wanted to match and set in. On top of that little brown box, that's where I have my alcohol in, on top of that I keep a small mold. And that's the little square uh, pencil holder, or you can put paper clips or earrings, whatever, in that little box. So the remainder of the resin will go in there, and that's when you see at the end and the beginning 
the finished um, product. So now I'm getting the air bubbles out, and, I, and I'm told, or I've heard from other uh, YouTubers and, and resin artists, that that is when um, the resin is most dangerous. When you are touching it to get the air bubbles out, that's when you're releasing the most chemicals into the air and into your lungs and or skin if you're not careful. Okay. So what I've done is on one of my uh, little molds, I'm pouring the remainder and I'm telling you bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the next day and here we go. This is the first one. They look really good to me. They just dropped the thing off. That's the back, and then that's the front. I love them. They're so beautiful. I love them. I love the little blue in there, the sparkles. I just love it. Looks like something magical. So I'm going to go through and just show you all of the rest of them. So I'm just not going to talk. I'm just going to let you watch. So this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you come back for the next video and have a great week. Please subscribe, share, and like. And don't forget to comment.